We have word of a big deal tonight that some are hoping will revive Portland's Old Town. A developer has agreed to buy the Old Grove Hotel. It sits on the corner of Northwest 4th and Burnside, right at the entrance to Chinatown. Chris Woodard live following the money in this big deal tonight, Chris. Uh, the city has already lost millions on this property. They're happy to get rid of it tonight. They see this as a big part of the Old Town revitalization. I understand their skepticism. Across the street from a homeless camp and in a state of disrepair, this is now Bob Nato's building. There's just a lot of creativity and excitement right now about just figuring out what to do with the opportunity. I found out the Portland Development Commission just signed off on his proposal to buy and fix up the Old Grove Hotel. But there are questions about following through. Just last year, I told you about a developer that backed out and blame the Right to Dream 2 homeless camp. Any concerns there? Oh, yeah. So I asked, will this really happen? We will move ahead regardless of what happens with Right to Dream 2, but it's a lot easier to operate a boutique hotel if your front door doesn't look out on them. NATO has plans to spend seven and a half to eight million dollars turning the building into a hotel with at least 50 rooms, two restaurants on the ground floor, and a rooftop patio. He won't use any public money. I think people are, have been waiting for a long time to see to see Old Town kind of reach its full potential. The Portland Development Commission is happy to sell. However, I found out NATO and his group bought the property for six hundred thirty thousand dollars, far less than the three point seven million the city has stuck into it since two thousand ten. So I asked PDC about the loss. We're always concerned about the, you know, what we invest in and what we get back out, but we don't invest in real estate. We don't buy real estate for speculative return. We buy real estate to make things happen. In fact, they tell me the building, originally the Hotel Philip, has fallen into such disrepair, $630,000 is more than it was appraised for.